In this video, we'll be showing you how to calibrate your HI9814 grow line meter using three different calibration types. First, we're going to do a quick calc calibration using our own pH and EC one point calibration solution. Then we're going to do a standard calibration using pH 7 and 4 buffer solutions. And lastly, we'll be doing an EC calibration using your 1.41 millisiemens conductivity standard solution. Let's get started. Calibrating your HI9814 grow line meter in quick cal mode is simple. The meter comes out of the box set to quick cal mode. If this is the first time calibrating your meter, it is best to add enough storage solution to the cap so that it covers the glass bowl completely and wait at least one hour to hydrate the sensing glass. If you don't have any storage solution, calibration solution can be used to hydrate the bulb until you purchase storage solution. For the fastest readings and to extend the life of your probe, always keep your probe in storage solution when it is not in use. The first step of calibration is to rinse. Rinse your probe for 10 seconds with distilled water to dissolve any KCl, potassium chloride crystals left from the storage solution. Tap water is okay if distilled is not available to you. It only takes a small amount of storage solution to contaminate calibration solution. Shake any excess water off of the probe. Do not dry the probe with a paper towel or cloth because this can create a static charge or damage the sensing glass with lint and scratches. Next, open a packet of QuickCal or pour solution from your bottle of QuickCal into a small container. Make sure there's enough to submerge the entire glass bulb. Press and hold the mode power button until QuickCal appears on the screen. Release the button and HI5036Us will appear on the screen. Immerse your probe into the solution, inserting the probe with a slot facing upward to help release any air bubbles. Tilting the packet at a 45 degree angle ensures that the entire glass bulb is covered with solution. Wait until save appears on the screen. Your meter is now calibrated and will return to the measurement mode. You do not need to press anything to save the calibration. It should read within a few hundredths of 6.86 depending on the temperature of your calibration solution. Your EC should read close to 5.0 millisiemens. Your PPM will read close to 2500 parts per million if your conversion factor is set to 0.5, and 3500 parts per million if your conversion factor is set to 0.7. Keep in mind that the probe health indicator icon will remain blank when you calibrate with QuickCal. A blank or empty probe health indicator simply means there is no information to be displayed. If you would like to know the health of your probe, you must perform a two-point calibration in standard calibration mode, or watch our video on how to interpret millivolt readings in relation to the health of your probe. Okay, let's perform a two-point calibration in standard calibration mode. You may use any brand of pH 4 and pH 7 calibration solution for standard calibration. It also allows for the meter to display probe health. Note, the probe health is not displayed in real time. It only represents the health of the probe at the time of calibration. Before you begin, make sure your sensing glass has been hydrated in storage solution for at least one hour and has been rinsed for 10 seconds prior to attempting a calibration. Make sure your solutions are fresh. When opening a bottle for the first time, write today's date on it so you don't use it after it has been opened longer than six months. Do not pour the used calibration solution back into the bottle. To calibrate your meter using HANA or any brand of 4 and 7 calibration solutions, you must first enter the options menu and switch to Cal Standard Mode. Press and hold Mode Power button until Setup appears on the screen. Press Mode until Quick Cal is displayed then press set to change it to standard cal or standard calibration mode. Press mode four times to bring back the measurement screen. Place the probe in the seven buffer. Hold mode until cal standard shows up. Release the button. If the buffer is recognized, REC is displayed. Then wait will blink until the calibration is accepted. The pH 4 use message is then displayed. Rinse the probe briefly and shake off any excess liquid. Place the probe in the 4 calibration buffer. 
When the second buffer is accepted, the LCD will display save for one second and the meter will return to the normal measurement mode. After the calibration procedure has been completed, you will notice the four and seven icons appear to show it has been calibrated. These icons do not act as calibration reminders. They remain until the calibration is cleared or you perform a different type of calibration. Depending on the frequency of use, it is recommended to calibrate the pH probe daily, weekly, or monthly. Generally, commercial growers calibrate daily while home growers calibrate weekly or monthly. Now let's calibrate for EC. Rinse your probe for 10 seconds with distilled water to dissolve any KCl potassium chloride crystals left from the storage solution. Tap water is okay if distilled is not available to you. Hold mode until EC standard appears. Release the button. Immerse the probe in the 1.41 millisiemens or 5.0 millisiemens calibration solution. If the standard value is recognized, REC is displayed. Then wait blinks until the calibration is accepted. The LCD will display save for one second and return to normal measurement mode. EC slash PPM calibration can be done less frequently than pH calibration with minimal drift over time. Calibrating every one to two months is recommended. If you have any questions about this product or any others, please feel free to visit hannainst.com.